welcome to Melanie Riverside Cemetery Beauty YouTube channel. If you guys like the channel, definitely hit subscribe, ring that bell for all notifications. I try to get out here once a week to visit the cemetery. Um, the last few weeks we had very cold weather, rain and snow, and then there was days where I didn't feel good. So now here we are out here at the cemetery. In April is when I officially started with the cemetery. Then about May time is when I officially started cleaning. And this would be coming up on eight years now of taking care of the cemetery. Along the way, I didn't know if I would have any help of taking care of the cemetery with me. I was going to do this all on my own but it all came together and I'm grateful that it did. We still gotta cut down some of these little sticks that are up. I gotta do D2 solution, otherwise the cemetery is highly maintained and the ones I definitely gotta thank are the ones that helped out along the way with the cemetery, the ones that believed in me and the ones that kept going with me and all the helpers because it wouldn't be possible to have the cemetery looking like this beautiful and how it should be they will never be forgotten as long as I'm still walking talking breathing and moving I am going to be here at least try to be here once a week depending on the weather or if I'm not feeling good or something major comes up that is family or my health related. So right now, we're just waiting for them to get this tree out of here. So it's still here. They were working on it. I don't know when they're gonna, they are scheduled to come out here as well to get the rest of this out of this tree. They may have to really get some people to come in and be highly careful as well to cut down this tree right here because if that fell down this tree the rest of the tree is going to fall down so yes so I know they will take care of that and I will definitely keep you guys updated and post it on this right here as well so i want to say thank you to the mayor and the current mayor as well i don't want to say their names but thank you guys so much for letting me continue being at the cemetery for all these years taking care of the cemetery i greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and from Memorial Day, they'll be having new flags out here. I don't know who this flag belongs to, but I'll put it right here. Alright, so how I got started with the. You got beating me. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. You flew away. Let's just see as what you get. A bee flew by my head. All right, otherwise than that, how I got started, I think they try to put this headstone back up, but I can't put that back on there. I wish I knew people that knew about cemeteries that can help me restore some of the headstones and like get them back to where they were but however at least it's getting taken care of and I want to thank all the helpers along the way I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys and the community of this town thank you guys so much I started in the cemetery this is my great-grandparents this is Obviously, 
this been here for eight years now. They're Santa Claus. I gotta get them a new one. This is John Casey and Emma C. Gilbert Casey, Nana. And that's my great aunt. She passed away um, when she was, I think, the age of 15. So when I found out that I had great grandparents and grandparents in here, John and Emma, they were the first ones we came across and found. Then on the way, when I was walking through the cemetery, how it looked back then, it just needed to be cared for and loved. Especially with all the family, and there are still families that live around and that are around in the town or out of state. So the YouTube video helps as well. My cousin is right next to my great grandparents. Now this is William Mayer, my fourth great grandfather. We were trying to find him the first time we came up here. We totally walked past William and Rosalina. I just don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's actually from Germany. He's from, his family's from England. Or part German, I think. I had to check. But we finally found them. So this is their son, my great uncle. They served in the Civil War. I don't understand why she has um, two headstones, to be honest with you. And like, I couldn't bear the families of people that live and come visit. I couldn't bear them seeing the cemetery looking in the shape that it was. So I made that promise. And obviously, I gotta trim up around here because there's a headstone there that um, fonts. I don't want to go near because there's bees. They trim that all up. And thank you so much. Obviously, there's people that visit still out here, so. I'm very glad of that. This is Isaac Laconi. This is my fourth great grandfather. He was married to Gartu, my first grandmother. She died at childbirth and remarried. Lois? Lois. Lois. And that's my half great aunt Anna. Anna so they had more kids he passed away in Bethlehem and I made the promise to Isaac Laconi and everybody in the cemetery that I will come out here the clean and I made that decision made that promise and I'm still gonna keep holding on to it and on top of it I believe it was the fourth Did you hear footsteps? I believe it was the fourth party over there. But I don't see anybody. Maybe it's across the street. I'm not sure. My fourth great grandparents that I didn't know. And these ones are baby head stuff. Oh yeah, that's stick food. Let's 
stick just move. If I did get on the camera. These are baby headstones. Recently, must have fell down. I'll oh, try to fix that one. Then, when we did our wood cleaning and found out that, like, most of the mayors and Laconis that are in here and whoever else that I have in here, they are re pretty much all related, either cousins, uncles, and stuff like that. So, the last ones that I found, and there are Freemasons in here as well. So over there, my Isaac, my fourth great grandfather is a mason, there are mason, there's other masons, there's people that served in the Civil War, part of the American Revolution War, and World War One, World War Two. They are just breaking the leaves. We'll just walk around the leaves. And basically like over here, this is the mayor's. This is like a family plot as well. Now, I don't know my fourth great-grandmother's name because of they were from Germany. This is gotta be Schaefer. And this is Christina. I just don't know her maiden name, Schaefer. So yes, that's the family. And I wonder, obviously they all had to know each other. I wonder how, like, how it was back then, what stories would they tell us today, and their journeys, and what they had to overcome. Because obviously he was born in 18, 48 and obviously passed away 1926 and Godly was born in 1846 and passed away at 1908 and that could be one of their child I just do not know who it is I don't know if it's a great aunt or a great uncle of mine well, it is one of my great uncles, but, or aunts. I just don't know what was. So, yes, this, I'm just blessed how the cemetery and them let me keep coming out here to take care of the cemetery. I'm grateful and honored. Then, as the days go on and it gets warmer, I will be out here with the D2 solution. I will do a video. I might do a short live stream at the cemetery with the D2 solution. That product is very amazing. You don't even have to use it on the headstones. You can actually use it on your sidewalks, your house. It works wonderful. Alright guys. And I'm still going to hold my promise. I'm very grateful and honored. And even if I didn't have family, I wish I would have knew sooner like than like eight years ago. I'm glad and I'm thankful that I got to be here and everybody got to go along with this journey. And it's blessing, amazing, wonderful, and all like I didn't even imagine none of this like years ago 
as growing up, as a child, walking past these streets up and down, I never knew I had great grandparents in here because nobody told me. Um, I didn't even think much of it. And I wish back then, like I was, could have took care of the cemetery and like realized like how much cemeteries all over the world need love and care and tendance as well. So if you guys definitely want to help out your community, if you want to take care of a cemetery, I will say go for it. It takes one person to stand up. If you believe in yourself and you can talk it and show it, don't say it, do it. And if there's a part that you want to be clean up in your town, just get up and volunteer and they will do it. It just takes only one. Just follow your heart and follow and just give back to the community. And I feel so much a part of this cemetery where I just want to be here every day, all day, and don't want to go home. I love just being here at all costs. I want to stay here. But I know I gotta go home. I love maintaining the cemetery and I'm very grateful and I wish I can talk to everybody in here. My loved ones and my great grandparents to meet them, I would love to appreciate Isaac. The talk to Isaac as well. And John, my great grand my grandparents, John and Emma, I believe. He could have came from Ireland. I know the Giverts came from England and a whole mix because of the surnames. So yes, each and every single one of them were here and walked this town. And if they were here, they say it changed a lot. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys in the town, the township, and for letting me be here in the cemetery for all these years. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a wonderful day, night, wherever you're at in the world. And God bless you guys all. Love you all. Bye for now from Melanie Riverside Cemetery Boutiques.